everyone, so today I'm going to do a video on my perfume collection. Collection videos are quite popular in the sort of uh, category of videos I do, people like to see what I have. I also have collection videos on my jewellery, my costume jewellery and my winter boots. So if you would like to do um, or suggest any more collection videos you, you would like to see, please put it in a comment below. So I'm going to talk to you today about the different perfumes I have and just give you a little bit of a background on perfumes or fragrances so you can understand why I've chosen them and it will make sense in how I explain why I like the perfume um, because I believe they all have similar family of fragrances um, which I like. Also I want to say please do not go out and buy something or order it online just from my recommendation. Scent is a very, very personal thing, like clothing or fashion or makeup. So, if I recommend a fragrance to you that I have, please go out and smell it first at a counter before you purchase it. Because I hate someone to buy something and not like it because of me. So, definitely try before you buy. Now, on to the different types of well, I mentioned two different types of fragrance. You have an Eau de Parfum, which is EDP, or typically an Eau de Toilette, EDT. Eau de Parfum tends to have around, sort of typically, a 15% um, sort of aroma essence. So that could be anything from essential oils to um, a scent extracted from seaweed. Um, Eau de Parfum would typically have 15%, whereas EDT, Eau de Toilettes, typically have, I would say, 5 to 10%. Um, and so that's why when you go to a counter, EDPs will be more expensive and they will also smell stronger on your skin and last longer. And that's because the expensive part of the fragrance, the aroma essence, the essential oil, the amount of that in the perfume is what the majority of the cost is into making the product. So that's why you'll find that it's a higher price point. It may smell slightly different. It may smell stronger. And then that's the difference between the two. Also, I wanted to touch... I've made notes here, so that's why I'm looking down. And you can also get, you know, like body or fragrance mists, which are even lower, um, which are even a, um, a lower percentage and a lower price point. So, um, you know, like body sprays, you spritz it and then you, you can't smell it like an hour later. That's because they only have about typically like 3% aroma essence inside. But that's a good thing for like young girls to start with, a body spray and a, or an aroma essence. That's what I first started wearing when I was like a teenager. So try that out first, definitely. What perfumers do to describe a scent on the packaging or in the merchandising and what makes up the aroma essence in the perfume are the notes, the fragrance notes, and there are three fragrance notes, the base, the middle and the top. The top notes are um, the scent that's perceived immediately on the skin, so directly after you've sprayed it you will smell the top note in the perfume, and this is typically um, it's like the selling point of the perfume is the scent of the top note because that's what you, when you immediately spray it, you will purchase it on that top note scent. Um, and the top note is like smaller, lighter molecules which will evaporate quicker, which will make you smell them initially, and um, they're often like the lighter, fresher scents or in the lighter, sort of fresher family of fragrances. The middle note is the scent that will emerge um, after the top notes have dissipated. So it's going to be like the heart or the main body of the perfume is going to be the middle note. Um, and that sort of works with the base note. The base note is the one that will stay... <sighs> it like goes with the... I can't describe what I mean. The base note and the middle note sort of go together to form the heart of the perfume and the sort of main theme of the perfume. So often the base and the middle note will be in a similar fragrance family, like Woody for instance. Um, and so they'll work together to really have the, the main body scent, if that makes sense. Um, and the, the base note is typically like the richest or the deepest 
fragrance like sandalwood for example um, and that will stick around all day so often when I talk about things like my Tom Ford for instance that has a very deep heavy bass note and when I initially smelt the Tom Ford Violet Blonde for example I didn't like the top note um, so I did what a lot of people do is they spray it on the stick and then I left it in my bag and then that's what I like to do to sort of get a feel of the perfume because then I you know, kept smelling it when I opened my bag and I actually thought I really like the base note of that perfume and that's what's going to stay on your skin all day and what people sort of smell throughout the day so try and do that when you're testing out a new perfume don't just go on the initial fragrance that you smell after you sprayed it because that top note will dissipate and you won't smell that throughout the whole day and that's why people tend to spray more and more and more because you want that hit of the top note um, when you may not necessarily like the scent that lingers from the base note so definitely remember that when you're purchasing new fragrances and finally I just wanted to talk quickly before I show you my perfume I know this is a really long intro and you can skip it yeah there's there's sort of five standard families which the different fragrances um, are sort of grouped into if you like or categorized you have floral oriental woody foie gras or fresh and um, the first four are very traditional and then fresh is sort of a new, for like new age fragrances where the notes are not synthetic but um, it's just new age really in perfume, fresh scent, so like oceanic fragrances or um, citrus smelling fragrances weren't typically scent thought of in the perfume world until quite recently so those are the five, right? Sorry, I'm talking for so long. I love perfume, so I'm quite passionate about it. So I'm going to get on to the fragrances I have and tell you the notes and tell you why I like them, what time of year I like to wear them or occasion I like to wear them. And so I'll get started on that now. Yeah, sorry. The first fragrance I'm going to talk to you about is um, Chanel Chance Eau Fresh. And you can see I'm sort of near the end of this one. I got this one in Duty Free. And it's the Eau de Toilette and it's 50 mils. And the notes of this are, I'm sorry I keep looking down guys, but I can't remember all this perfume stuff I want to tell you in my head. So the top notes of this are citrus and cedar, the middle notes are pink pepper, hyacinth and jasmine, and the base notes are teakwood, iris, amber, patchouli, vetiver and white musk. I love this fragrance for the summertime and that's why I'm nearly out because I think I wore it all summer. The Eau de Toilette means it's not too heavy in the summer. Um, because your sweat and your warm skin will enhance the scent of the perfume so it's nice to wear an EBT in the summer um, also the base notes of um, patchouli and vetiver I think feature in quite a lot of my fragrances they're scents I really like um, but also the top note of um, the citrus and the middle note of pink pepper are quite light and girly so um, citrus definitely being the top note is the one you smell initially and that's going to smell great in the summer when you first spritz it on and it makes me feel summery wearing citrus so love that okay so next I'm going to talk about Chanel Coco Mademoiselle and this is an EDP and this is 50 mils and you can see this is nearly out also the top notes of this incorporate Sicilian oranges, bergamot, which is a gorgeous scent, and grapefruit. So again, this is a great, this is a nice nighttime fragrance for the summertime. Um, I love this scent so much. And it has such a nice deepness, a slight masculinity to it. Um, so it's not overly, it's not a girly fragrance, I wouldn't describe it as, or a pink pretty fragrance. It's definitely got some depth. Um, the middle notes are rose and jasmine again, jasmine featured in the other Chanel fragrance. Um, and the base notes are patchouli, which I love, vetiver, vanilla and white musk. So these are actually base note wise and sort of in the citrus fresh family, they're quite similar. Um, so that's pr probably why I like them personally. Um, but yeah, this is lovely. And you could wear this really round, year round really. It's light and fresh in the top, um, but the base note is quite I think it's quite deep and quite sexy um, and not overly girly and 
not masculine or woody so um it's got a great deepness to it which i love so that's chanel coco mademoiselle and so now i'm going to talk about one of my well i think it is you know how if you have perfume you have scents which are like your scent like chloe and this is the chloe uh, chloe it's like called chloe by chloe or chloe Eau de Parfum Chloe, um, it's just the original Chloe, that's all I would describe it as. Um, this is the EDP I think, and this may be 50, it may be larger. I don't have this on so but I'm just going to spray it. And this is gorgeous, it's girly but not in a, in a sort of non-traditional way. Um, a, re a really pretty fragrance and I think this can be worn year round. Um, definitely the EDP can because it has a nice depth to it. Um, and it's just elegant fragrance, glamorous fragrance. That's how I describe it. How I've just, just sorry about that. That's how I described it in my notes here for my video. Anyway, yeah. So it's um, top notes of freesia, and then we have base. The middle note is rose, which I think really comes forward, and then the base notes is amber and cedar. So um, again, it's quite similar. It's floral, has depth. Um, the rose, which is the main scent in it, I love rose fragrances. I think the the new fragrances containing rose aren't granny style, you know, traditional rose scented things or lavender scented things. You think of like older generation of women or an older style of perfume. But I think now rose fragrances aren't like that at all. And I love this one, and uh, it's my all time favourite fragrance. So go out and try it if you like a floral but deep base note type of perfume. Now on to a newbie, this is Prada Candy and this is the most sweetest, girliest fragrance I would say I have or I own um, and definitely the scent that comes out of this one is, sorry, the scent that comes to the forefront of this fragrance is definitely the caramel fragrance. Um, the top note is musk the middle is benzoin and the base is caramel, so it is uber girly, great for, I think I got the EDP in this one. Yeah, Matt got me the EDP for my, um, he got it for me for Valentine's, it was in my Valentine's Day haul. And he got me the big one, I don't know what it is, like 70 mils or something crazy, but it is gorgeous. I've used loads of it already since Valentine's, so that's how much I've been loving it recently. I think it's a nice transitional perfume from winter to summer, um, and it is gorgeous. It's definitely, as you can tell by the notes of it, it's very different to what I typically wear, um, but I quite like that. It's good to mix up a little bit, so um, I would recommend Prada Candy also. Finally, you know how much I fan of I are. I can't talk because I'm excited. You know how much of a fan I am about Tom Ford fragrances. He makes great quality fragrances. The notes in it are all classy and expensive and that's why it's at a higher price point. When you spray a Tom Ford perfume, you know that scent is going to last you all day and, people, and I get the most compliments on my fragrance when I'm wearing a Tom Ford. Whether it be white patchouli or black orchid, which I've had in the past, which are absolutely gorgeous. Um, the new Tom Ford one that I'm going through is um, Violet Blonde, which I think is his newest fragrance out. Um, and I got this for Christmas from my brother and I've used loads of it already. I will say that um, this is the, what is it, 30ml. I will say that I do wear fragrance every day without fail. It is one of the things that, um, for me, I don't I don't want to leave smelling good for a special occasion. I want to smell good every day. I love perfume as you can tell as I talk about it and can talk about it for so long. Um so I'm someone who wears fragrance every day, so that's why I, even though I say, oh you know, I mean you might be thinking, oh my god, she's only had it since December. Why is she used so much? But I literally spray it every day. Because I love it. The main sort of fragrance family I would say that came out of the Tom Ford would be a sort of powdery woody fragrance. This is definitely, Tom Ford fragrances are definitely ones that are deeper, um, that are not the light girly, typical traditional girly fragrances. Um, so that's worth bearing in mind. This is like glamorous and sophisticated, you can, if you've seen the visuals of it with, um, oh what's David Williams' wife called? 
Lara Stone, she's amazingly gorgeous. Um, so if you see the, the visuals of that, it's all like deep purples and sexy and sultry and glamorous. And that's really what this fragrance is for me. Um, I wear it year round because I love it, but obviously because it's heavier, it's better in the winter, autumn months. Um, but I really wouldn't care because I love it that much. I wear it year round. Um, but it's definitely be an amazing nighttime special occasion fragrance. Um, it is one that people will remember you by, 100%. And the notes in this are... Um, we have Violet Leaf, which obviously comes from the name Violet Blonde. Mandarin Pink Pepper, which the Chanel Eau Fresh also has pink pepper in. Um, it has Iris, um, Jasmine, and the base notes are Musk, um, Cedar, Vetiver, and Benzoin, which feature in um, another one of the fragrances um, so it's just I love it it's gorgeous definitely go into and this is one definitely which I'm spray on a stick and leave it in your bag or um, in your pocket or in your jacket pocket or something like that and you know so you can get to know the base notes of it um, sorry guys that was a really long collection video I'm just really passionate about perfume so what I will do is um, I will 100% do a blog post on it I will upload the video first and then the blog post will come afterwards and I will do a short summary of the fragrances because I know this is a lot of information for you to take in um, in a video but you can rewind or pause or watch me many a time if you need to go back and check something so I hope that was helpful I hope you like my perfume collection let me know if you like similar fragrances to me let me know what ones you also have in your collection because I'm always on the lookout for new perfumes um, I hope you guys all have a great day and thank you so much for watching and subscribing and commenting. I really do appreciate it so much. Um, have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye! Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do a video, um, oh fuck me, I'm going to get the first sentence out.